One thing I wanted to mention was um, I'm really grateful for the people who chose me on the What I Love About You tag. Um, and I've decided not to do the tag because it's just, I, it's too hard to pick people. And I don't know, there's so many people on YouTube that I like, but uh, I just want to thank you for including me uh, as a choice. On uh, There were some various ones like trading libraries and going book shopping and uh, things like that and uh, I really appreciate it and I appreciate um, all you guys uh, you know commenting on my videos and and watching them I think I'm getting close I'm going to check here to how many subscribers that I do have um, I haven't actually looked recently it's got to be getting up there yeah I have 272 so I'm thinking that when I hit 300 um, I probably will do a giveaway and uh, it'll be a your choice giveaway, kind of like what uh, Megan the Book Addict just did. So uh, stay tuned for that as we get closer to 300. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway like that. So uh, that'll be fun. Thanks. Hey, Booktubers. Uh, this is Bumblesby here. And I have um, a large book haul again for you. The uh, first thing I want to show you is, <clears throat> excuse me is a bookmark that I got. This is one of those 3D bookmarks that I'm collecting. And when I saw this, I immediately thought of Mandalia, which is supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Even though I'm going to be reading the ebook, um, I thought that this bookmark was so cool, I had to get it. So in any case, uh, I hope you can tell the 3D that's on there. It's really awesome. <laughs> so, okay. Um, this is a large kind of book that I got here. Uh, it's called Ships and Sailing. Um, recently, I read um, a book called Ship of the Line, which is the second book in um, the uh, Horatio Hornblower series. So um, I'm going to continue to read the series, and I wanted to know more when they talk about the ships and stuff. They, they point out, you know, different things about them. So it's basically just a lot of pictures and um, all different kinds of ships and things, and like, I don't know. You can see. So I'm hoping that it's going to help me kind of understand a little bit about the ships that they talk about. Uh, another very special book that I got, I wanted to get, I don't have the first three books of the Harry Potter series. So um, I went ahead and uh, bought the first one. And when I looked for it at Amazon, the only hardcover they had was this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's called the 10th Anniversary Edition. Um, so it, it's got the, the U.S. Uh, name, um, the, the Sorcerer's Stone. And uh, this is, uh, as you can tell, it's very shiny here um, in the back. Uh, this is, or the side, I should say, it's very uh, Harry Potter. This is all raised lettering here. Very, very nice. And there's the back. So the inside uh, cover looks a lot like this. This reminds me a lot of the Deluxe Editions, which I have two of those. I think all book five and book seven I have in the Deluxe Edition. And then here is the inside. It's all cloth. Absolutely beautiful. It's all cloth. And there's the spine in the back. Really, really nicely done. So I was really glad to pick that up. I'm, I was kind of hoping that they would... Uh, get the second and third books out in an edition like this because it's really, really beautiful. Um, I bought a, a couple of um, Library of America volumes. Um, this is Kurt Vonnegut's um, Novels and Stories, 1963 to 1973. And this one is uh, Paul Bowles. And um, this has three books in it The Sheltering Sky. Let It Come Down, and The Spider's House. Um, the Sheltering Sky I'm going to read uh, fairly soon. It's on my furl. So, um, and then I got two Eastern Press books, The First Men in the Moon by H.G. Wells, and there's um, the back, or, or so the spine in the back. So, of course, you know these are my leather-bound books with the gilt edging and the ribbon marker. I don't believe this has any illustrations other than uh, just a small one on the front. And it says, I was progressing in great leaps and bounds, and I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but in any case, um, yeah, I, 
I actually would like to get to that. I don't know when I'm going to. Um, I got volume two in the journals of the expedition. I've already showed volume one. Uh, this is Lewis and Clark. Um, and so this is uh, volume two. Okay, on with some of the, um, well, I guess more YA in middle school. This is a middle school a book that I saw recently somewhere. I don't remember where, Puddle Jumpers. This hard cover is uh, very nicely done. It has um, this shiny gold, um, this is actually embo embossed. Um, the side is, is very, very neat. And um, the back. So I might read a synopsis on that one in the long version of the video. Um, I had to get this one because I just love the cover. This is a new book out, The Map of Time by Felix J. Palma. And um, it's got one of those funny feeling covers. This part is shiny and smooth. The rest of it is, I don't know, just different. Um, some kind of a coated paper. So, uh, yeah, it, it's supposed to be about um, time travel, I guess. And um, so, yeah, end of time. These two books here, um, I thought were just real interesting, middle grade. Uh, the Books of Elsewhere, uh, very well done books again. Oh, I wanted to show you that on the map of time. The, the uh, end papers. Uh, have, have illustrations. Awesome, isn't it? I wanted to show you that. That's one reason why I got the book. I hope I enjoy the story, but <laughs> if not, the book's really, really beautiful as it is. So, Okay, so back to uh, the books of Elsewhere. This one's the first one. It's called The Shadows. Um, I believe it came out last year or a year and a half ago or so. I'm not real sure. I don't remember now. So there's the back. Um, but really cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to read the synopsis of the first book for you in the long haul. So here is the second book out. If this one just came out. It's called Spellbound. These are written by Jacqueline West, by the way. So another awesome cover. And um, there is the side and there's the back of it. Okay. These two are by Sarah Addison Allen. Um, this one here is on my furl. I'm going to be reading this soon. Um, this is Garden Spells. I've been wanting to read this for a while. And this was a uh, used book I got at, I believe, in the Amazon Marketplace. And there's the side, which is really, really beautiful. Um, another just very well-constructed book. So I really enjoy it. Nice. And then the other one I wanted to read was The Girl Who Chased the Moon. Another really, really interesting cover. And her, her books are, I haven't read any of her yet, but what I understand is her books have elements of magic about them. So I think kind of like, I don't know if you guys have ever watched the Hallmark Channel. I enjoy the Hallmark Channel um, many times in their movies, even though, you know, sometimes they're, they're a little uh, predictable, whatever. But I, I enjoy them, especially their Christmas stuff. And... Um, they have one called The Good Witch's Garden, and there's a second one, or a third one, I think, out too. Uh, and I've always liked that one. I, I think the Sarah Addison Allen books are going to remind you of that Hallmark movie, if anybody's ever seen it. Um, here is, I like books about books, and this is one is How Novels Work by John Mullen. Um, I'm reading one right now, and of course the name is uh, Reading Like a Writer by Francine Prose. I'm reading that now and it's an e-book. Um, it kind of got inserted into my fro. I don't know why. I picked it up and started reading it as the e-book and it caught my attention so much. I'm enjoying it. I'm almost done with it. So, um, but the font in this thing is really kind of small. But in any case, um, I love books about writing and books about books. This one is The Fault of Debs at Debs Book Cafe. And uh, she got this, I think, in paperback, uh, The Cat, Dete or Cat Detective by Vicki Halls. And she's actually read it and reviewed it. Um, and she really enjoyed it. So I have a couple cats, and sometimes I wonder what in the world is going on with them. And um, so I thought I would pick up this book. It, from what I understand, it's a, it's a very good one. So 
then I got the second book in um, Michelle Harrison's series. This is called 13 Curses. Another beautifully done book, as far as like the cover goes anyway. And I don't know what the name of the series is. The first book is 13 Treasures, and I have that one and has shown it before in a haul. So this is the second book. These are just coming out in the U.S. That's why, um, like, there's a book three and possibly a four, but we don't have them in the U.S. yet. The last book is uh, Beyonders. I found this at Barnes & Noble where I picked up a couple, I think I picked up um, uh, the map of time at Barnes and Noble there, uh, and I saw this one going, just walking through the middle grades. Uh, Brandon Mall, Beyonders, this is the first book in the Fable Haven series, and what is really neat about this is they have the cover, and then they put this 3D um, thing on the front of it. They glued it to the front, which made it, which made the cover stick out, and I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but it isn't flat like the back. It's got the 3D look to it. And it's just really, really cool and unique for uh, the U.S. So I went ahead and picked that up. And if the second book has that same thing, it's just the uniqueness of it. I, I hope the story's good too, but I'm sure it is. That's my short haul um, for today. And if you want to know more about some of these books, I'm going to be reading the synopsis on the long haul. And um, if, you, if you want to see that, go ahead and uh, view it. See you later.